Hey Pokey peeps, we're back today with a video and we had a comment a while back saying that I couldn't do this. So we're going to be doing that now. We've got an evolution team and let's see what we've got. All right, guys, so I'm not going to be doing a team builder for the evolution team because there's no real strategy to it. A lot of the sets are quite standard. It's more so just full attack or full defense, whatever it may be. So sets are very, very, very plain. Uh, but I'm okay with that and I think it works out quite well. The only real thought I put into this team was having Chlorophyll on the Leafeon just in case I do use Max Flare at any point and then I've got a super fast Pokemon which might work out in my favor. So that was the only real strategy or thought process put into this team. Otherwise it was just let's get things that hit really hard and are quite good. So. I don't really have any specific leads that I'll be doing and yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing with this video. Alright, so he leads with Exedrill and Tyranitar and I lead with my Leafeon and Vaporeon. I sort of saw this lead coming so I wasn't too stressed. I do go for the Dynamax with my Leafeon here and then go for a Max Overgrow into the Excadrill shot, thinking that was going to be the threat. However, he goes for a Mud Slap into his Tyranitar which does no damage and procs his weakness policy, which is a little bit scary there. And now I'm in a little bit of a pickle because he can send in a Togekiss here and redirect me. I'm a little bit worried about the Urshifu here, so I do go for a max uh, overgrow into that. I do know there's a plus four, or sorry, plus two and a half uh, Tyranitar on the other end, but that's actually not too stressful at this point. I'm definitely more worried about that Urshifu uh, at this point. I then go for a Scald, hoping to get a burn. We don't, but we're all good there. He then sends in Togekiss here, so I go for a Max Steel Spike just in case he does go for the follow me, and then it wouldn't have been a completely wasted move. So I go for that. He goes for a Dazzling Gleam and a Max Darkness into my Vaporeon, and I go for a Scald here. And I'm starting to be a little bit worried, but I do have my Jolteon in the back, so I'll be sending that through. through. I go for a Volt Switch into the Tyranitar on this turn, thinking that at least then whatever comes through, my Sylveon can go down. I don't need that alive to win this game, but I do need that Jolteon to take out this Togekiss. Uh, and then I stick in with both, just go for an Ice Beam and a Hyper Voice, which actually does a ton of damage. And then he's going to go and quit here because there's nothing else he can do. He has lost this battle. All right, so pretty good battle by us there. Yeah, the Tyranitar Dynamax and caught me off guard, but he was a little bit greedy going for the Max Knuckles. If he had just gone for Max Darkness or even a Max Rock Slide, it would have put him in a much better spot against me. Going for those Max Knuckles really didn't do anything extra for him. The damage he was putting out was already going to kill me. And the only way I could have seen that game going south is if the Togekiss A had the follow me or B had the tailwind and it turned into a super fast super strong Tyranitar so they were the only real things that made the game a little bit stressful for me but as soon as the Togekiss just went for a dazzling gleam my stress is just completely diminished all right guys so that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe for more content if you did enjoy this video please check out some of my others I'm sure you'll like them just as much anyways 